This is a typical problem where we have a car pulling a caravan along a horizontal road. And what I'd encourage you to do is always draw a sketch for problems like this. But not necessarily a sketch like I've drawn here, a simplified one, okay? Something like this where we've got our car here towing our caravan. Now in this question then we're told that we've got a car of mass a thousand kilograms so we can mark that in there as a thousand kilograms and it's towing this caravan of mass 750 kilograms. Now we've got that the caravan and car connected by a tow bar which is parallel to the direction of motion of the car and the caravan. So this tow bar should be parallel to the road here. And we model that tow bar as a light rod. In other words, it has no mass. And the engine of the car, we're told, provides a constant driving force of 3,200 newtons. So I'd want to put a force in there of 3,200 newtons. What other forces have we got? Well, we're told that the resistances to motion of the car and the caravan are modelled as constant forces of magnitude 800 newtons and R newtons respectively. So we've got a resistance on the car which is going to act in the opposite direction to motion. That we're told is 800 newtons. So we just mark that in as 800 newtons. And we've got a resistance to motion on the caravan, which is R newtons. Now, what other forces have we got on these objects here? Which we're going to be treating, by the way, as particles. Well, we've got the tension in the tow bar, for instance. We've got a tension pulling back on the car. We'll call that T newtons. And that tension is transmitted through the bar and is pulling the caravan to the right. So we've got an equal and opposite force of T newtons acting on the caravan here. Any other forces? Well, there's the contact force with the road, for instance, for the caravan. Let's call it R for the caravan, RC, OK, newtons. And we've got the weight of the caravan, 750 G newtons, mg. And when it comes to the car, we've got the contact force with the road, OK? So we can call that R. Can't really call it C, though, anymore, can I? Because it's going to be the same as that one. So we'll call it RV, R for vehicle, OK? RV newtons. And the weight here will be acting downwards a thousand G Newtons. So they're all the forces acting on both the car and the caravan. Now we've got to show that R is 860. So to do something like that what we need to do is consider resolving to the right. Okay, Resolving to the right means that we're going to be looking at the resultant force acting on this system which equals mass times acceleration and I haven't put the acceleration in we're told that the car and the caravan are accelerating at 0.8 meters per second per second so this acts across both of these um, objects okay so we've got to mark that in as 0.88 meters per second per second okay so when it comes to resolving then what is the resultant force to the right well we've got first of all the driving force here 3200 newtons and then we've got minus the resistance here minus 800 we've also got minus t here it's a bit pointless though putting these T's in as you'll see in a moment. I generally don't but if you want to put them in you can because we've got minus T here. The reaction here and the weight down 
aren't in this equation because they're perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving in. So they don't have any effect. But when I now come on to the caravan, I've got plus t pushing it or pulling it to the right. So that would be plus t. And you can see that these two cancel out. That's why quite often you see people leave these out of an equation like this. And then we've got the resistance to motion on the caravan, r newton. So that's going to be minus r. It's acting in the opposite sense to this. We don't need to bring in the reaction of the caravan or the weight because they are both perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving in. So this is the resultant force, the F part, if you like, of F equals MA. So it equals the mass times the acceleration. Now the mass is the total of these two, 1000 plus the 750. So we've got 1750 and that's being multiplied by the acceleration, 0.88, which is in the positive sense, so 0.88. So it's just a question now of working this out. 3,200 minus 800 gives us 2,400. And then minus that R equals 1750 times 0.88, which turns out to be 1,540. So if I add R to both sides and subtract 1,540, you end up with R equaling 2,000. 400 minus the 1540 and working that out gives us r equals 860 the value that we had to show okay so i hope that's given you some idea then over this particular part of the question some people say to me do i need to bother by the way with these uh the reaction here the weights okay because they don't enter the equation well, I'd still encourage you to draw these on. I think it's a good habit to do that. You'll get problems later on in other examples where this is going up an incline plane. And you'll need to be in the habit of putting these contact forces in and the weight because then they will enter into the equation. Okay, so uh, just a point there that I thought might be worth mentioning. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.